Welcome everyone. Today we got some fans farm boxes we're gonna open, so let's get into it right after this. Welcome back everyone. How are you today? Thank you for stopping by to check out my channel. Um, today we have eight, yep, eight Bands Farms mystery boxes from various runs. Um, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. So the first one I have, I uh, would like to say thank you again to Nick over at Bands Farms. I appreciate the opportunity of these awesome boxes because he normally doesn't sell online, but due to the uh, pandemic we had he did so these are boxes we never would have normally been able to get that we do so and they all go 100% profits go to a uh, good cause so it's always great to uh, know that you're also helping out a good cause in the process so uh, let's not waste any time like I said let's get into these boxes first one up is the two pack damage box he did not that long ago you got two pops and the damage run so they don't know how much damage might be on it um, but we will find out let's not look all right there appears to be two pops like this we'll grab this one first our first pop up is Wallace from Blade Runner 2049. Pretty cool pop. Don't want to spend too much time. Try to adjust this light a little. Don't want to spend too much time. But wanted to show off. This is a pretty cool pop. So first one up, Wallace. I moved the light. I'm never going to be able to get it back to where I wanted it to be. The second pop we have is also not a protector. There's two stickers on this one. Let's see what we got. Bam. It says Olaf on the back. Oh, snap. That's a big glow in the dark sticker. So this is a 2014 convention exclusive glow in the dark Olaf. Has a little tear on the top. Right there. But overall, the rest of it, I mean, it's got some wear and tear. It's a 2014 pop, so got some shelf wear. But other than that, that's an awesome pop. And it's glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. So, damage run box wasn't bad at all. I don't know the values, but again, when it comes to bands for arms, that's not the main thing. So, um let's open we got some may 4th boxes let's do this uh first run let's open this one first let's see what we got without looking always got a ton of shipping boxes and bubble wrap once this is always done with the bands for arm session so we got a sticker on the front let's see what we got star wars han solo 2017 galactic convention exclusive nice that's pretty badass i do not have this one 2017 han solo 2017 Galactic Convention Exclusive. Pretty cool. All right, try to adjust the light a little bit better. Hope it worked. Let's get back to it. So we're about to open our second May the 4th box. And this was from the first run because we did two runs. I have the other run there. Two from each run. Got no sticker that I can feel. Bam. Star Wars Lieutenant Conix Conix. Probably saying her name wrong. Still a cool pop. 
as a Star Wars collector will go in the collection. All right, so I got three of the third blind and two more May the Fourth, which is from the second run. So let me open. Let's just stay on the Star Wars path. Ugh, all right. Um, let's just go ahead and open this one. I mean, I really enjoy Bands for Iron Boxes. I'm sad when they go and we can't get any more, but at least we were able to take part in it. Let's see what we got. For the May the 4th second run, first pop, we got a sticker. I don't know, maybe a Walmart sticker or Target or GameStop. Let's see what we got. Star Wars, GameStop, DJ. That's the guy that uh, supposedly helps them, but ends up tricking them. So, still a cool pot, Star Wars. And our last May the 4th box, run two. Let's see what we get. It's not in protector, I feel that right away. Two stickers. So let's see what we got. Fye flock Chewbacca holding Porg. That's awesome. That's really cool. Happy to add this to my collection. 2017 pop. Pretty cool. Who doesn't like to have a Chewy and a fuzzy Chewbacca at that? I got new some of these. Uh, Boxes over. All right, we're down to our last three bands for orange boxes. These are all third blind run. I don't know if you can even see that. Third blind. So, Let's see what our first one is. First one up. Got. We got a sticker. Feels like it again could be GameStop, Target, something like that. I think it's GameStop. Feels like the other one. And it's Walmart this time. This cool pop though. This is Android 16, the Walmart exclusive. So it's the metallic one. I do not have it. And now that I collect Dragon Ball, I'm excited to add this to the collection. Yeah. And that's the set. It's from the newer wave. Oh. Kind of like the newer wave for the newer wave. They're always releasing anime pops, so it's hard to keep up. So we got two left. Let's go ahead and open this one. This one feels really light. Got. Alright. No sticker that I can feel. And. Oh, it's Bakugo, which is badass. I have this pop, but I am not complaining about having another one because I actually would like to send one in to get autographed uh, by the voice actor. And I was literally just looking at them earlier, so now I got an extra to send in, and it's in really good condition. So I'm super excited about that one. Really excited. So. Our last and final Bands for Arms box, at least until the next round comes through. Um, I don't think I have a whole lot more coming, but we have a few. So this is our last one until those come in. And this one as well doesn't feel like it's in a protector. It's not in a protector. There is a sticker. Two stickers. So, see, it's heavy too. One, all oh, looked. Because I felt something, but it threw me off. So, surprise for y'all. Bam! Hot Topic exclusive Diamond Ursula. So, Kayla's gonna love this because she does not have this one, I don't think. And she loves the Diamond Pots. And she likes Ursula. She actually went as Ursula for Halloween last year. So. 
super cool pop. Like I said, can't go wrong with Vance Warren boxes. Look at the variety. I mean, Star Wars boxes, you're expected to get Star Wars, but we got some Olaf. We got some Blade Runner, Star Wars, some anime, and Little Mermaid. So, those are the uh, remaining boxes I had. I did have 10 originally. I opened up two on a uh, live I was with someone, and I pulled two pretty decent pops, average pops, and I was happy with them. So. All right, so that's everything I have for this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time a new video drops, ring that bell notification and comment down below which one was your favorite pop. Um, I'm really happy with everything, to be honest with you. This flock Chewbacca is really cool to me. Uh, I love having an extra Chewbacca go. Kayla's going to love that. I mean, Glow and Dark Olaf, pretty awesome, right? So, again, that's everything I have for today. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.